Hi, I'm Soledad O'Brien, and this is a culture close-up for the HBO docuseries Black and Missing. I have the privilege to interview Natalie Wilson and Derricka Wilson. They are co-founders of the Black and Missing Foundation. Ladies, thanks for talking with me. Thank you so much. Thank you for having us. I am Derricka Wilson, a former police officer in Northern Virginia, um, born and raised in Spartanburg, South Carolina. I am Natalie Wilson and my background um, is public relations, more than 15 years of media relations experience. And many of these families have never gotten media coverage regarding their missing loved ones. So it's an honor to do this work. Um, I live in DC of Caribbean descent from Trinidad, the best um, island in the world. Why do the Trinis always say that? That it's the best <laughs> island? Like Cubans say the same thing. Let me. <laughs> so tell everybody what the Black and Missing docu-series on HBO is all about. It's a, a way to showcase our stories that have often been ignored by law enforcement and by the media. But it also gives hope, hope to family members that have a missing loved one you know, that their loved one can come home too. Why do you think media and law enforcement often fall very short when it comes to helping the families that you help? Well, for a number of reasons. Um, law enforcement, we do know that when a child or someone under the age of 18 is reported missing, quite frequently they're classified as a runaway, so they don't receive the Amber Alert or any type of media coverage. And we know that there is inherent disparity or stereotypes against these people. They're seen as a burden on society. And we are trying to change that narrative that these are mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, members of our community. Persons of color going missing and the disparity. In order to solve the problem, you have to be willing to be the change. And you know, when we hit the ground running, our community, they didn't realize that this was an issue because when they turned their televisions on, they didn't see anyone going missing that looked like them. What do you hope that people come away with? What do you hope are the tangibles that people walk out of seeing this documentary with? You know, it is my hope, especially, you know, serving as a veteran law enforcement official, getting rid of the classification runaway. They're missing, they're children, they're minors. So we need to classify those cases appropriately. Um, I want them to do away with the, the reporting structure. So in some states, families can report their loved ones missing immediately, while in other states, they must wait 24 hours. Time is of the essence. And the newsrooms, they really need to look at themselves as well. We had a conversation with a major news outlet, and basically they said, you know what, we report on it when there's traction. Well, how about you use your platform to create that traction and to bring about change? Really being involved in spreading the message, right? It has to have that. Absolutely. Knowledge is key. Awareness is key. So go to our website at bamfi.org. See who is missing from your community. You can be able to help find or bring them home. We were with a, a group last week and they were like, I saw this flyer and I didn't share it the first time. But when I saw that my friend shared the flyer, then I shared mm -hmm. it. Knowing what's going on, liking the post and sharing it can bring about change and save a life. One case that stands out for me is a, a mother that reached out to us and she was actually contemplating suicide. Her daughter had been missing for six months and we told her, we're gonna find your daughter. We're gonna find her. And we hopped on a call with one of our media partners and we coached and guided the mother uh, to speak about not just her daughter, but it was a parental abduction. And to put his information out there, because where someone may not know her three-year-old daughter, they know who he is. And after she went on air with our media partner, two days later, a tip came in that led authorities right to her daughter and she was able to reunite with her two days later. Wow, wow, amazing. So just think about that national media coverage and it showed why it is so needed. It's 
So needed. Derricka Wilson and Natalie Wilson, they are the co-founders of the Black and Missing Foundation. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for the work you do. And thank you for, for doing this documentary with us. Thank you so much, Soledad. And Soledad, I also want to say thank you so much for taking a chance on yes. us. Yes. Taking it? I bet I literally had to, what? I had to <laughs> beg you to do this doc series. Well, at least you didn't give up. So thank, thank you for that. You. <laughs>